in a million years, I never thought I would become so obsessed with making, of all things, butterflies. Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing, crafts, and DIY projects, and if any of those things appeal to you, consider subscribing to this channel because we have a lot of fun here. And lately, I have been really into my embroidery machine, the Brother PE800, and I've discovered a new level of craziness, and that is freestanding lace. I had no idea it was out there, but I got this really cool CD with designs for freestanding lace butterflies. This was sent to me by the wonderful folks at Nancy's Notions, and I highly encourage you to check out that site. It was founded by the late sewing extraordinaire, Nancy Zeman, and they sell all kinds of really cool sewing and quilting goodies. And I saw this on the website and I was like, this looks really awesome. So that is one of the things I sent along with lots of other sewing, quilting, embroidery goodies, like this Madeira thread, which I definitely utilized for these butterflies. So I decided to give this a whirl and I have been experimenting the last week or so with making all different kinds of designs. These really amazingly cute butterflies and I embellished them with rhinestone crystals. So I'm going to walk you through how I made these. You're gonna need some wash away stabilizer. This is two layers on a four by four inch hoop. Because freestanding lace designs tend to be dense, using two or even three layers is ideal. Make sure it's tight and to help out with that, I put a comfort grip on the screw. For this project, your bobbin thread needs to match the upper thread. So I picked up extra brother bobbins and I spent some time pre-winding several in colors I plan to use. We're stitching out one of the more simple butterfly designs, but the CD contains 24 to choose from. Here is me inserting the bobbin up close, but I've got a much more in-depth video going over the basics of this embroidery machine, the Brother PE800. Check it out if you want to get more familiar with this model. On to threading. There is an automatic needle threader to make it easier. And oh my gosh, I love these bent handle curved scissors. Now attaching the hoop to the main unit and we're ready to go. One tip, purposely make sure the thread tail is long and snip it after a few stitches. When I didn't do that, sometimes the extra thread gathered into a rat's nest underneath. Not very pretty. For every thread color change, you will need to remove the hoop and switch out both the upper thread and bobbin thread to the new color. It's a bit tedious, but well worth the effort. I'd also snip the threads on the back so the design was as neat as possible. The next color is a lighter purple. Continue this for each step and color of the butterfly design. And if you're wondering, yes, I do sit and babysit the machine, watching that stitching like a hawk. I set the machine up close to the computer so I could stream videos to watch at the same time. Remove the hoop and use scissors to cut away as much excess stabilizer as you can. Drop the butterfly in a bowl of warm water and let it sit for a few hours. Rinse it under the faucet and let it dry, preferably overnight. I just couldn't help myself, had to make several more of these beautiful things and played around with the metallic and opal threads. There will be a future video all about specialty threads because I did have some trouble. To be even more extra, I used my Crystal Ninja supplies to add rhinestone accents. This is a great kit and comes with the wax pickup tool mat and more goodies. And now presenting, drum roll please, sparkly butterflies. You guys, I can't even begin to tell you how many ideas have come into my head for things I can do with these butterflies. So look forward to seeing a lot more appearances by them in future videos. In fact, my next video is going to show all about this tote bag. This is the Noodle Head Poolside Tote, and I'm gonna show this in the next edition. Thank you to Nancy's Notions for providing quite a few of the materials that were shown in this video. I'm Jennifer Warren. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more embroidery videos, I have probably a gajillion of them. In fact, if you're sick of seeing embroidery videos, I apologize in advance. I'm Jennifer Moore for The Sewing Report and I will see you guys next time.